In this video, we're going to have a look at invariant points of linear transformations. So a linear transformation is one that can be represented by a matrix. So let's just now define what an invariant point actually is. So if we apply a matrix M to a vector X, Y, let's keep it in two dimensions for now. The points invariant, if when the matrix is applied, we get the same point back, i.e. the point doesn't change. So for example, let's take the matrix 2, 3, 7, 1, and apply it to the origin, apply it to the vector 0, 0. Well, 2 times 0 plus 7 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 plus 1 times 0 is also 0. Therefore, the matrix 0, 0 is an invariant point under that transformation. Now, it just so happens I cheated a bit there because the origin is an invariant point under any matrix transformation, under any linear transformation. But it needn't necessarily be the only invariant point, as we're about to see. So let's look at this example here. So let's find the lines of invariant points of the linear transformation represented by the following matrix. Now, it talks about lines of invariant points. We'll come on to what that means in just a second. Let's first of all just take them and find the invariant points. So we want this matrix when applied to a vector x, y. So 4.2, 1.6, 1.6, 1.8. 1 .6, when applied to a vector x, y to give just the point x, y. So these are the points such that the points are invariant. So we apply the matrix to x, y and get x, y. Okay, so let's multiply this matrix out. So we'll get 4.2x plus 1.6y equals x. And the bottom one, 1.6x plus 1.8y equals y. So we've made two simultaneous equations, one for the top component, one for the bottom component. So let's rearrange these. So get all the x's on one side and y's on the other. So I get here 1.6y equals an x take 4.2x equals minus 3.2x. Okay, then do the same here. So let's take this y across to this side, which gives us that 0.8y equals minus 1.6x. Now let's simplify this. Let's divide both sides of this, this top equation here by 1.6. So that gives us y equals minus 2x. And here divide both sides by 0 0.8, we get again y equals minus 2x. So there's an infinite number of solutions to this equation because no matter what values for x and y, we sum it in the top equation, the same solutions occur for the bottom because it's exactly the same equation given twice. Therefore, we know that an invariant line occurs when the y component of the vector is minus 2 times the x component. Therefore, any point on the line y equals minus 2x is invariant. So let's put that to the test. 4.2, 1.6, 1.6, times, and let's put in there any vector where the y component is minus 2 times the x component. So let the x component be a, which means that the y component is minus 2a. Okay, so let's multiply this out. So that becomes 4.2 a then we add 1.6 times minus 2a that's the top component then the bottom component is 1.6a plus 1.8 times minus 2a equals okay 4.2a take 3.2a is the top then 1.6a take and 2 times 1.8 is 3.6 so 
a equals a minus 2a. So there we have, we've just shown it that any vector where the y component is minus 2 times the x component, when we apply this matrix to that, the point is invariant, i.e. we get the same point back. Now let's now have a look at what sort of transformations would actually lead to this happening. Let's try and put this into context. So take this set of axes here. So what we're going to imagine is reflecting through the line y equals minus 2x. So there's roughly the line y equals minus 2x. Now let's say we've got this point here. When we're reflected through the line y equals minus 2x, i.e. the line y equals 2x acting as a mirror line, it ends up there. So that there, it's perpendicular, that's perpendicular, so it's the same perpendicular distance from the opposite side of the line. Now let's think about what points under this transformation wouldn't vary. So let's think of a point on the mirror line here, or this point here, or this point here. If the point actually lies on the mirror line, then the reflection won't have any effect on it. So all of these points stay the same under the, uh, under the reflection through the line y equals minus 2x. So all of these points here on the mirror line are invariant under the linear transformation, a reflection through y equals minus 2x. So I don't want to confuse you here, though. I'm not suggesting that this matrix is a reflection through the line y equals minus 2x. It, in fact, isn't. I'm just giving an example of a practical situation in which the invariant points of a transformation would be on the line y equals minus 2x. So the last thing really to do is explain the terminology that we'll point out at the beginning of the question. So find the lines of invariant points of the linear transformation represented by the following matrix. Well, what we've done there, we've found them, and there was only one, y equals minus 2x. So a line of invariant points is a line on which none of the points vary under a transformation. So all of these points here on the line y equals minus 2x do not vary. This shouldn't be confused with general invariant lines, which may consist of points that do vary. So if you want to learn more about that, look at our invariant lines video. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.